The last time Anna sees Licinius, a cold wind is blowing and his complexion is the colour of a rainstorm. His eyes leak. The bread she has brought him remains untouched and the goiter on his neck seems a more sinister creature entirely. Inflamed and florid. As though tonight it will devour his face at last. Today, he says, they will work on mythos, which means a conversation or something said, but also a tale or a story, a legend from the time of the old gods. And he is explaining how it is a delicate, mutable word, that it can suggest something false and true at the same time when his attention frays. The wind lifts one of the choirs from his fingers and Anna chases it down and brushes it off and returns it to his lap. Licinius rests his eyelids a long time. Repository, he finally says. You know this word. A resting place. A text, a book is a resting place for the memories of people who have lived before. A way for the memory to stay fixed after the soul has traveled on. His eyes open very widely then, as though he peers into a great darkness.